Guys, we just finished the FE exam. We just finished the FE exam. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. That was the exact moment that I finished the FE exam and I was extremely pumped about having that off my back. My name is Diego May and I'm a civil engineer in training from Canada working in the US. And today's video is a vlog about my 10 day journey before writing my FE exam. For those who don't know, the FE exam is the fundamentals of engineering exam that you have to take in the United States in order to be uh, an engineer in training. Um, in Canada, it's a little bit different because once you graduate, you apply, but you don't need to take any exams in order to become an EIT. Whereas here, there's actually an exam and then looking farther down the road, you take an exam to become a professional engineer also. Now I have some tricks and some links that I uh, share within this video uh, that may help you with preparing for the FE exam. However, I am planning to post a dedicated video for tips and tricks to write the FE exam. So stay tuned for that one because it's coming up in the near future. And without further ado, let's get into the video. And remember, if you like the video, hit it a like and subscribe to the channel to watch more content like this. And just a heads up, um, the scene that you're about to see is on day 10, the very beginning of it all. And you're gonna be seeing a very defeated, soulless, hopeless Diego. So don't worry about him. He eventually will collect himself up. But I just wanted to give you a heads up because he's got like no hopes and dreams at that time. Anyway, I'm gonna let it go now. Enjoy the video, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is August the 22nd at 6, 10 p.m. I'm feeling pretty defeated. Um, I thought I was good for the FE exam, but I've been doing more questions and kind of like by the end of the chapters um, from the 2017 practice exam, I just kind of like got destroyed. <laughs> My exam is scheduled for September 1st, so I got 10 days. Um, I've been studying quite a lot during the weekends, uh, during the past like two months or so. I've been getting quite a bit of knowledge into my brain during that time, but oh man, it's one of those, it's one of those days I'm just like, yeah, it's a little tough right now, but I'm just gonna take a break. Also, I just wanna say that I'm 10 days away of the FE and I really have no clue if I'm gonna pass it or not. You gotta make a plan, you gotta stick to the plan and then just do it. Definitely stressed out right now as you can tell but we'll check in later and go from there. Guys so we made it here we're at Discovery Park and you can see Rainier Somewhere over there. And yeah, just taking a break from studying right now. I have no idea what time it is. It's probably like 7.30 or closer to 8. But yeah, this is really what I needed. I'm gonna take it all in and talk to you later. Hello guys. Um, I was just cooking as you can see. I was watching some videos from Mr. Direct Hub. Like this guy just started really like 162 views april 28th 2020 he's working with the new formula sheet like this guy has really good information and i don't think he has all of the topics uploaded yet but i wouldn't be surprised if for any of you guys that are planning to take the fe um in a few months from now he keeps uploading content that, that you can use i find his stuff super helpful he's solving like the final practice problems from nces <laughs> and so he's got really good content there so check him out if you're studying for the fe he's helping me lots forgot to mention it is t minus nine days for the exam i'm feeling a lot better now because i'm starting to like put in time on the topics that i, I absolutely on and so that's really helping me build my confidence up getting better and yeah that's the update for t minus nine days peace what's up guys so today i finished work around seven ish so now i'm just kind of well i was eating berries but they're all done now and now i'm just uh watching some videos for 
uh, surveying because it was one of my weak subjects. It is day or like T minus eight days. This videos, I swear, I, I wish I found them before because they're super helpful and it doesn't take a lot of energy to just sit down and watch them while you're like eating or whatever. So definitely recommend these videos. I think I'm gonna cut it short, maybe two more questions or something because um, I wanna wake up early tomorrow and do some work early. So hopefully I can finish work earlier tomorrow. I also have a water test Wednesday. So probably will have to be up at four for that. So I just want to start training my body to go to sleep closer to 9, 9.30. It is 9 right now. Alright, T minus 8. Yikes, we're getting close, but, you know, slowly, slowly getting that knowledge in the brain. Alright, um, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. See ya. Morning guys, it is 4.47, woke up at 4.30 for my water test early this morning. I have no idea if I actually slept even though I went to bed around like 9. I, I was, I don't know, I was just tossing and turning but yeah, we got the breakfast of champions today. You can see, you can see what's going down. Um, but yeah. Gonna do a little bit more studying this evening, probably, and I think I might do one or two more environmental videos, and then I'm gonna focus on my strong subjects again, because I've been reading that you wanna focus on your strong subjects, subjects, and make sure that you kill those. Yeah, we'll do that, so I'll catch you later. Hey guys, I literally just got home uh, from... Gasworks Spark. I was actually um, just enjoying the view with a friend and oh my god it was exactly what I needed just chilling out after a long day at work and you know just kind of winding down like that so now it is 10:48, and um, I think I'm gonna have dinner again <laughs> so while I'm having dinner, I'll watch some more YouTube videos. Uh, we'll see what I find, and probably after that, just go straight to sleep. Um, T minus six days. We get in there. Good times. Good times. All right, I'll catch you later. See ya. Hey guys, it is Thursday, um, and we have five. T minus five days until the exam. I got some work done, but not as much as I wanted to. But that's okay, we still got tomorrow to wrap things up before my vacation. And then, um, yeah, uh, keep studying and go from there. Um, I'm about to have dinner. After that, I am gonna watch some videos. Uh, probably start watching some of the ones that I watched during the week, just to refresh and kind of like, as I eat, kind of remember the stuff. Um, and how to answer these questions before the teacher goes into the solution. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight And then I'll probably do the same tomorrow and then Saturday I'm just gonna do questions 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 Saturday more questions Sunday Sorry more questions and Monday Hopefully I'll review for half a day and then just chill out for the rest of the day. So peace Velocities what can we find? We can find the head loss using the Darcy Wise Block equation. So the Darcy Wise Block equation is on this page in the fluid section, 183, uh, part 1.4. So that's all for this one. Don't forget to subscribe and like and let me know if you have questions. Take care. That was, that was really, really, really great. Oh my gosh. Learning a lot from this guy, Direct Hub, I'm telling you. Definitely check it out if you haven't. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, so it is 9.23. I'm not sure if I'll get any studying done today because I'd rather rest up nice and wake up energized tomorrow to study pretty much most of the day. Yeah, it is T minus four days. Four days. Let's get this bread. See you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so I just finished doing a full-on practice exam timed. I started at 8 a.m. At that time, I'm going to be starting my exam officially 
um, on Tuesday. It is Saturday today and yeah, woke up and decided to do a full on practice exam. I did the newest one. It was, it was very much like uh, real exam conditions. Um, I guessed on the questions that I didn't know and, um, and you know, I counted it all. It's like as real as possible, right? And I ended up with a 65%, which I'm pretty happy about. I'm pretty stoked about it actually, because I still have half of today, tomorrow, and maybe a little bit of Monday. I don't want to do too much on Monday, but I still have some time to go over the questions that I skipped and the questions that I got wrong. So I think we're in good shape here. Yeah, um, as you can see, I'm about to eat and then continue on studying. Um, man, that second half of the exam after the 25 minute break, holy crap, definitely it becomes a mind game. You get hungry, as in I get hungry and I get grumpy and I uh, and my mind starts playing games on me. But I am glad that I went through this practice exam because now I know exactly what I'm going to be will dealing with when I'm writing that exam. So yeah, I'm pumped. Good times. Good times. 76, sorry, 66, 65. I think it's a good place to be having the amount of time that I have left until the exam. So I'll catch you later. So um, it is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Monday, Tuesday is my exam. And I'm just learning these amazing, amazing tricks of how to use my calculator. I'm so hyped. Oh my gosh. All right, buddy. I'm so glad I'm doing this right now. This is the place you go I will link this video for you guys later. Choose Morning guys, it is Sunday and T minus two days for the exam. I cannot believe it. I was just watching some of the footage uh, that I filmed uh, on T minus 10 days and man, we've come a long way. So proud about that. And right now I'm just going over my exam from yesterday, going over the, pic uh, the questions that I got wrong and making sure that I know how to solve them. Also gonna go over some questions that I skipped so that I can learn how to solve them in the first place. And so, yeah, uh, feeling pretty good. I didn't sleep quite well last night. I don't know why, a little hot, it was hard. It's just a lot of uh, tossing and turning, but um, yeah, here we are. I'm gonna push through today and then tomorrow I'll probably study half a day and then take the afternoon evening off so that I can like get a nice sleep and be ready for the test on Tuesday. Very hyped to get this over with. So I'll catch you later, bye. Hey guys, good afternoon. It is Monday, August the 31st, and tomorrow I'm writing my exam. Yeah, we've come a long way. Been tracking this for the last 10 days, and now I'm just reviewing the uh, questions that I got wrong in the exam. As you can see, I'm going through them here. Still have quite some to go, but um, yeah, so far so good. Um, learned a few neat tricks, tricks for my calculator, which was great. And I think it's gonna save me a lot of time for the exam, so. Feeling pretty good. Um, honestly, my biggest concern is just falling asleep on time like at a reasonable time so I can wake up at like six-ish to have breakfast and head to the test center. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll, I'll go for a run to drain some, some of my physical energy out um, so that I can fall asleep pretty quickly. Yeah, wow, I am really excited to get this done. Hey guys, so it is 8.22 p.m. tomorrow's the exam and um, I commented on Direct Hub's uh, video, one of his videos, and he replied, and it's like, when you got the support of your master. Thanks, man. So yeah, really hyped. Um, gonna go over a few more questions, and then we're ready for tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is test day, and I got a very sh sleep. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I, I really don't know what happened. I just like... I kept waking up. I was thinking about like formulas and like just other stuff. Um, I'm also going to Calgary um, like very shortly here. 
like right after the exam, I'm renting a car heading, heading north. So, um, you know, just uh, it was it was tough to to get some good sleep. So cumulatively, I probably got like six hours, which is less than what I'm used to these days. So definitely not feeling my best. But I think I'm gonna grab a some like tea or something from a coffee shop near my place um, and that should be able to keep me nice and alert for the exam. I remember in high school a teacher told me not to change your caffeine levels on exam day but uh, I've had enough experience with caffeine to know how much to drink so that I'm just awake but not jittery and like anxious. So not the ideal playing field but you know we adapt we conquer. I think that's how the saying goes. Um, yeah, it's it's test day. Like, what else can I say? It's test day. This is it. This is what this whole video comes to converge. And so, yeah, it's great times. A little sleep deprived, but we'll get it over with, and we'll tell you all about it after. So, hey guys, so we're out here. Came to a coffee shop, and now just waiting for my uber to take me to the testing center should be maybe like uh, another five minutes until the uber gets here yeah I got a got some cold brew nice and cold and I think this is gonna be exactly what I need to um, keep me awake and alert for the exam so anyway talk to you later Guys, we just finished the FE exam. We just finished the FE exam. Um, okay, so just waiting for my Uber now. Um, good times, good times. Second half, strong point for sure. First half got a little destroyed. Actually, not even. I think I probably guessed like 12 or something like that. But that second half went so much better. I found it a lot easier. Geotech was my baby. Uh, structural also went very well. So yeah, I'm pretty certain that I will pass if I don't pass which I doubt It would probably be that first half because that first half was just uh, a little a little tricky, but overall super happy um, I definitely have some tips for you guys um, taking this uh, Exam, you know, just little things about the system and all that I will be posting on a specific FE uh, tips and tricks video so stay tuned for that one but yeah it was it was a good time I'm glad it's over with it's a beautiful day here in Seattle and I'm just gonna head home eat and get ready for my drive so yeah see you later hey guys um, so today it is Wednesday <sighs> I can barely breathe oh my god <laughs> Wednesday September 9 and we're about to check out um, my FE results. I just got an email, so let me try to set set up the this thing so that we can all take a look. I am so nervous right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, the green, the green, the green. You guys, the green. Woo! Now oh, we made it. I'm so happy. Oh my god, we made it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I can officially post this video now. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, so that was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was definitely a journey for me to get through those 10 days and, you know, get the news uh, nine days after that I passed. So thank you for watching the video and like I said at the beginning, I will be posting a video specifically addressing some tips and tricks for the FE exam. So stay tuned for that one. But yeah, take care and I'll see you next time. Peace. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button if you like content like this and you want to see more of it. Okay, bye now.